Uh, hi folks, today we're going to put the western saddle on Chinaco and I'm getting him prepared to ride so I always have to think of the guy that got a hold of me and said get on the SOB. <laughs> I'm getting closer. I hope we don't die old age before I get on him but anyway this is uh, just another piece of the puzzle and uh, he'll get saddled a million times in his lifetime so I got it's a little different deal than a sawbuck. And um, I did want to say that I got to hear from my friend Pax out of Buffalo, Wyoming, and it sure was nice to hear from him. He's a good guy. And uh, on that note, it's interesting to me how one door closes and another one opens. Is The man I worked for in the day working, Richard Rudnick, he passed away and crossed the divide the other day. So he's truly going to be missed. We're all pretty sad about it because he's he was a cowboy and he. The best part I liked about him was his respect for everybody. If it was a green dink or a, a good hand, he 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 respected them and tried to treat them with respect. And if you did something wrong, he'd tell you. But uh, the best part about it was, for me personally, is when him and. <laughs> Ed, the cow boss, and Richard and I, when we the three of us worked cattle together, it was just really nice and real fun. So we'll miss Richard, but yet now I picked up my old friend Pax, so I don't know what to say other than that's the way it works. You can see it's different and he knows it's different. I don't want to do this with hobbles on because it'll just teach him to fight the hobbles. That's a different story. And since I've had a sawbuck on him, I didn't anticipate a big wreck. And this time he's allowed to move around. I don't care. You notice I stay up by his shoulder. I don't care if they've been packed or whatever. On a colt you stay up here. You don't go back there. And you all know he's had a back cinch on. And when I start a colt I make sure that the the back cinch is touching the hair. Do a one rein stop. Now because I'm gonna ride him, watch this one rein stop now. This is what it's gonna be like on his back. So it's all just subtle stuff, but it works. Bump, 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 bump. Now he's been cinched once. Now that'll be enough to keep the saddle on. Now the back cinch is in a different position. Whenever you do what I'm going to do right now, always step at an angle away from a horse. Don't walk towards the back of them. And a lot of colts get scared and blow up, they'll come right to you. So be ready to put your hand up.
And what's really the difference is those stirrups. They're swinging. That's what's stopping him. It's the stirrups. Now bear in mind, my Riata's hanging down. It's not tied off, so it, I want it to flop around. A little trivia, if you watch my lead rope and halter on a 40 foot round pin, if you hold on to the end of the halter, it'll reach right across the pin. Get it lined up and take it in a straight line and then just throw it. And the tail of it'll hit him. He wants in, which is understandable. See that Riata bouncing around making noise? There's a reason for that. That's what I wanted to see. I wanted to see him lope. That's what I needed right there. Now I'm just going to exhale. Drop my hands. And ask him to join me. I just watch the horse. Options, thoughts, pressure. I'll step behind the eye. Pressure. Pressure, release, pressure, release. If you remember on the end of a lead rope, I was sitting in a chair asking him to walk to me. This is me convincing him that he's fine. Don't worry about it. Pressure's off, don't worry about it. You don't need to worry. Every time he takes a step, that tapadera is tapping him on the leg. So he's gonna spend a lot of time with the saddle on. And I guess my point is, is that I've saddled them and rode them in the same breath a million times. Well, once again, I don't have to. I work by the month and I don't need to be anywhere. So I'm going to take the time to let him get used to it. Now, just for the sake of knowing, you know, this world today is a little goofy. And uh, one thing we're having hell with is the vaccine that's going out. Well, I'm no genius, but I can tell you this much. that If you take the state of Texas alone, and you think of all the feedlots, there's more cattle on feed in Texas than anywhere as far as I know. And all the feed lots and all the calf lots, warm up lots, yearling lots, background, and whatever term they use for them down there, 
those crews that vaccinate them cattle, I think they give more shots in one day than a doctor does in his entire career. So my point is, this doesn't need to be hard. All you gotta do is open up the feedlots and the yards, bring the people to them, get the crew ready, and just run them down the alley and up the chute. And if you got a guy on the left side giving a shot in the left arm and a guy on the right side ear tagging the right ear to validate they've been shot, you're done. This is not all that hard to figure out. Now the kicker is, is those of us that know, have been around this, once you let them out of the chute, you watch them walk for about 20 feet, and if they hit the ground kicking at their belly in anaphylactic shock, you just give them an EpiPen. It's over, go back to your car and leave. So somebody might pass that on to the upper ups, but I know dang well them guys down there could do it from coast to coast and nothing flat because they're good at it. The other thing is, is that Mitt Romney in Utah is helping that San Juan Valley down the south end of the state. And guess what? He's helping them get water. So all my friends on the Arizona and New Mexico side, you need to go up and run into Mitt and see who he's running with and get your deal started. So that's real good news to me that a politician's actually stepping up to help. So that's, oh, and there is one other thing. <laughs> since I'm scattering so much profound statements. I had a couple people ask me to share my wisdom about mules. Okay. I don't have any. Thank you. So this colt gets to decide, is it the, the stirrups or pat? What's it going to be? I'm going to go ahead and let him have a chance to roll with a saddle on so he can understand how that doesn't work out real good. Adios. <laughs>